We've got a Volkswagen Jetta 2013. Whoa! What do we got? Happening Z hood. Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back, glad you guys are here. This is the 2013 Volkswagen Jetta. I think it's a two liter, four cylinder. Customer states that there is engine oil in the cooling system. Oh no, oh no. Let's get this thing in the shop and check it out. Not gonna drive it, not gonna drive it because if there's oil in the cooling system, it stands to reason that there's coolant in the oil. And uh, we don't want to ride around with a contaminated engine oil system. Oh, let's see what we've got for mileage here. We're looking at 107,834 miles on the odometer with the check engine light and a tire pressure warning system indicator. According to the sticker, it's due for an oil change, but uh, that may be the least of our issues. Let's go ahead and swing this thing around, get it into the shop and uh, popping the hood. Let us check the condition of the fluids here and uh, see what we've got to work with. I have a sneaky suspicion that it has a failed oil cooler. Uh, it's basically just a big heat sink block that oil flows through, coolant also flows through it, and it allows some heat transfer from the engine oil into uh, the coolant, therefore cooling the engine oil. That's what I think. It's either that or it's got a cylinder head problem. So this is gonna be something very nice and easy and simplistic, or it's gonna be a, uh, a nightmare and may need severe engine work. So stay tuned because this is gonna be a very good video. And yes, I know the car is dirty. We've had a, a boatload of wind through here and all the, uh, all the driveway has been kicked up into a dust bowl and it is now contaminating everything. So I can't wait for the rain to come back. Powering down. Let's get out of here, it's warm. Hoppening zoo hood. All right, let's see what's going on here. Where is our little hood release? Kind right of down there, got it. Hello, two liter. Okie doke, so right here is our, uh, our coolant overflow bottle. We can see it's already starting to overflow. That definitely looks like engine oil. Smells like engine oil. Tastes like engine oil, must be engine oil. Let's see what's, uh, what's in the bottle. Please don't erupt on me and blow oil all over my face. That would not be okay. Yeah, more forbidden chocolate milk, that's so bad. Yeah, we're gonna need some personal protection for this one. Okay, let's try again. Let's see what we have in here. I can't get some of it. Hmm, yeah, that's definitely oil. I can't really get a, yeah, there's, that's nasty. Look at that. Gross. It's definitely mixed. Let's check uh, the actual engine oil. Make sure that that same frothy nonsense is not in here. And that looks okay. Yeah, there's definitely a difference in, uh, in consistency here, in color and taste and all that. Uh, whoa, what do we have here? There's more, uh, there's more fluids over here. Look at that. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, so right down here, that's our oil cooler. That's the, uh, the unit that the uh, filter plugs into or screws into. Um, but I don't understand how we got coolant way over here. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't make much sense to me. Hang on, let's start taking some of this apart. Let me pull the uh, this air box intake tube off and we'll get a better look at what's going on down here. That's uh, the whole top of the trans is covered in, in some kind of fluid. I'm hoping it didn't communicate oil or coolant into the transmission system because that would mean we've got a failed trans cooler over there. Okay. okay, so first things first, we've got one bolt that holds down this air box. I think it's just one and then probably some grommets. So let me pull this guy out and then uh, we'll detach it from the intake over yonder and uh, see if we can't figure out where all this, uh, this spilt coolant nasty stuff's coming from. Come on air box, there's one grommet right here and there's the one that I just unbolted. What else is hanging on to this thing? Yeah. I need to pull the uh, the air filter out. Er. 
No worries, just a couple Phillips bolts, screws, plastic screws. Let's pull these guys out. Maybe there's one more bolt at the bottom of this air box. Uh, more disassembly. There we go. Weird. And survey says negative. There are no fasteners, just grommets. Please come out. If this is any indicator to how this uh, this job's gonna go, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, and call it quits right now. Oh, that's not coming out. Okay. Let's try, let's just take this off. Remove engine. I'm going to get this tube out of my way. A little better. Okay. So I, I really don't want to fight with this the way it's fighting with me. Pop this guy off and then a little bit more right here. Let's lose this section unconnected. Another. Come on, tube. Don't break. There we go. Just lay that over here on the side. That is oily, nasty, gross. Look at that. Uh huh. Okay, this is getting a little worse. Look at that. There's a there's a bunch of nasty coolant looking oil sludgy stuff inside of the valve cover right here. You see all that? It's not looking too healthy. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna plug this tube back in. Actually, there's no is there a mass airflow on this? There's not a mass airflow on this, so I can I can actually run this engine. I'm gonna go ahead and start and run this engine and see if I cannot uh, visually identify uh, where that uh, that leak is coming from. I hope that's not gonna be a problem, which it probably will. Let's put a towel on it. There. Okay, let us go stopping the engine. I should probably see what those trouble codes we're talking about as well. Yeah. Key on, restocking engine. Seems to run okay. I'm just gonna stare at it for a little while and see if I can't see where that coolant's coming from. It should start to leak. I mean, there's plenty of a leak here. It's, it's gotta be coming from somewhere. But where? All right, let's grab some coolant. We'll fill that up a little bit. It could be pretty low. It went somewhere. So let's add a little bit to the system. And then maybe, depending on if it leaks or not, we'll, uh, we'll seal this system up, try to generate some pressure. The engine is still cold. It has not reached operating temperature yet. Good. Here, let's go ahead and seal this up. I'm gonna let it come up to temp. It's gonna build some pressure in the cooling system, and then we can go and inspect over here for uh, any kind of leak action. I just can't... Uh, I can't seem to understand how it, uh, how it got everywhere. I'm not getting the whole story. I, I wonder if this thing rode till it overheated and died and then this is what they found. Perhaps they refilled the coolant and then tried to check it again. You can see some coolant on top of that trans cooler. That's the trans cooler right down there. There's coolant on top of that. These things are known leakers. This little uh, coolant manifold assembly thing right here. There's a pipe behind it. Those are known leakers. Okay, it's starting to run a little rough, I think. I saw some bubbles right here inside of the tank. Let's pull this back out and just take a look and see what's going on in the cooling system. It's been a couple minutes. It's not all the way up to temp yet. Well, let's see if we have any action. See, there's some bubbles. Oh, here comes some water. Okay. It showed up out of nowhere. Holy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. That's terrible. Uh, yeah. 
I can't even do like a block test on this. There's just so much contamination in there. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back to the original plan. We're gonna seal this up and just observe. We're gonna watch, see what it does, and then we'll take some, uh, some action from there. I really don't know what uh, what direction to go in. I don't know if the cause was over here. Gravity, flashlight down. I don't know if the cause was the leak over here and it overheated and the head gasket let go or if that cooler is just simply leaking. I, I really don't know how this is, uh, has transpired. Uh, but I'm gonna figure it out. Again, I still see, look at there, there's some, there's liquid running out right there. That might've been some leak. We'll see. Okay, so the fans have come on. Good to know that the fans are running. That means temperature is coming up and one of the temp sensors has realized this. But still no signs of the leak just yet. I'm not too thrilled to hear this rattle noise. Okay, the fan speed is picking up. I've got some heat out of this uh, upper hose here. But I'm not feeling much heat from the lower hose. That's a little interesting. Let's plug the scan tool in while this thing warms up and, uh, and we'll see if what those codes are telling us. All right, scan tools powering on, satellites linking up in outer space. We've got a Volkswagen Jetta 2013. Whoa, what are we doing? Found the leak. There it is. Power that down right now. Woohoo! There's the leak. And now we know the rest of the story. Okay. It splattered out everywhere. Keep going. Yeah, it's steaming from the cylinder head right there. That's that's where that little nipple comes from in the head. Okay. That's not what I expected to happen. Ow, hot. Okay, so it is overheating. It's overheating. There's no cooling system flow. The fans are slowing down. So this explains all the coolant that was everywhere over here. That also explains why this hose, see this guy, why we have these two uh, hose clamps on here. Somebody tried to fix this already. Hmm. All right, we've we've got a we have an overheating issue here, and since we have an overheating issue here with coolant in the oil, I can only imagine that this thing was driven massively overheated. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking it lost a head gasket. see what's under here there's no pressure at all just dumped out so let's take a look yeah that's more fresh oil and again nothing nothing on our dipstick so it's only passing through one way we know where all this mess came from but we still don't know how it got there and what's going on with it so I'm thinking I wonder if I can get if I can get some of these spark plugs out of here and maybe I can look inside of the cylinders and check to see if any of those cylinders are steam cleaned. Because if there's coolant that got into the cylinders, then we know for sure that there's a cylinder head gasket leak. I think that's what I need to do. Let's, uh, let's pull this intake off and pull some spark plugs and take a look down in there and see what's going on. Uh, I think this is internal engine failure. And there's coolant oil sludge on the scanner here. That's gross. I don't want that. Previous vehicles. Go back to my Volkswagen. Didn't save. Scanner. Scanner Danner. Volkswagen. Let's try this again. That's people's car off Deutsch. US vehicle. 
Uh, 13. Let's relink those satellites. I'm afraid because I don't want it to blow up on me. Automatic identification beginning. Jetta, sure. Mm, two liter, I choose A for Apple. Two liter. Just give me the codes, please. Wow. That could have been bad. If my hand would have been over there, that could have uh, caused some type of burning action. That's not cool. Not cool at all. For your convenience, the scan tool is in cherry, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't care. For my convenience, unfortunately. Mm, engine management trouble codes. Determining ECU. This is taken forever. Come on with it. Variants are found. I don't care. Just... Hmm. Beep. Yeah, special functions disabled. Just give me codes, please. Why are you making this difficult? The Germans are seeking revenge. Mm, what is this? Trouble code 148 Delta 00 Hilo slash 1346 816. Refer to OEM repair information for code description. Okay. Emission system is broken. 2450. All right. That's minimal help at this point. We'll just put this thing back in there for now. You stay. Ooh, you know what? I think I lucked out. Look, these two spark plugs, that one down there and the one next to it, those are pointed at me at this direction. And these two spark plugs are also pointed at me in this direction. I think I can get these plugs out without pulling the intake. That's a bonus. All right. So here, let's try this. We're going to go in with the, uh, the curvy uh, needle noses. Pop these wires out without tearing them. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Hanging out, working. Okay, well, that was kind of a waste because I ended up breaking the, uh, the plug wire. It just tore in half. There's like a rubber insulator. See that? Yeah, it tore right off. Whatever. And looks like normal 916s. So let's pull that guy out. All right, let's see about digging this plug out of here. This is uh, cylinder four, I believe. Go ahead and remove this guy. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, well, I don't really see. I can't really tell. I'll have to go in there with a boroscope, I think. Let's keep pulling the plugs out until I find something that uh, gives me a good red flag. I'm, I'm looking for a steam clean piston. And what I mean by that is if coolant gets into that combustion chamber due to a head gasket leak or something of that nature, the piston will be super duper clean like brand new. And that's what I would like to, uh, to find here because that's kind of the, the smoking gun that we have a failed cylinder head or a cylinder head gasket. I'm going to ruin this one too, I bet. Pop. Yeah, that one, that one broke also. So I'm already into this for a set of plug wires at the least. There's that rubber. Come out, rubber stuff. It. There's more rubber in there. Hang on, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna get gonna get this out one way or the other. Not very much space for me to play with at all. I got it out halfway. Come on, a little bit more, please. See, there's all this stuff in the way. It's not allowing me to get my rubber off of the shaft of the spark plug. Come on. I try to get a grip on it and I, I push it down. And I don't want to do that, I want to pull it out. Hmm. Need a different tool. Let's try some straight ahead needle noses. Let's see. Okay, I got a hold of it. Here it comes. There's that nasty thing. Okay, spark plug number two coming out. You know, this is very thoughtful of Volkswagen to angle these plugs so I can uh, pull them out without removing the intake. I appreciate that. Typical engineering would have 
required me to remove the uh, the intake. Yeah, that one looks it's odd. It's like polished clean on one side and kind of chalky on the other side. Okay. All right, that's two. Let's go over uh, to cylinders one and two, and we'll pull these guys out next. Let's get a hold of the heat shield and give it some wiggles. Please come out without breaking. Come on, you can do it. Pop, and that one broke. Go figure. Let's get the rubber out. Sorry if you guys can't see. I can't even see. But I'm trying. Yep. Rubber boot thing fell down, no worries. Now I can get the plug. Unclicks. Hmm. Similar to the others. All right. We're going in with the boroscope. We're gonna get down into those cylinders. And I want to see what the top of our piston looks like. And that is, it's actually not okay. That thing's squeaky clean. Yeah, there's no way at a hundred something thousand this thing should be that clean. So coolant's coming in to at least cylinder number one. I wish I could turn this. Let's try to rotate it some. What is that? Okay, so number one is pretty clean. Let's go ahead, get into cylinder number four here. Yeah, look at that, we can see all that carbon and that build up on top of number four. See that right there? Check number three. And yep, bunch of carbon on number three. Is that a broken piston? What is that? See that? What is that? Doesn't look good. And then just to refresh our memories, let's go back into number one here. And number one is squeaky clean, spotless. All right, we've got internal engine failure. It's gonna need a cylinder head, I think, at the least. Okie dokes, well, I'm putting this thing uh, back together so we can start it and run it and at least move it because it's not gonna sit here in the shop all day. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that we either need to pull the uh, cylinder head off of this and try to repair it or uh, Replace the motor, engine. What do you guys think? Is it engine or motor, or does it matter? Can it be either or? I know there are some who use those terms interchangeably, then there are others who, who swear they cannot be interchanged because of mm, definitions and whatnot. I prefer to not call engines motors, and I definitely don't call an electric motor an engine, even though a petrol or gasoline or diesel engine has been and could be referred to as a motor. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, one of those age-old debates. Ones that will never, uh, probably never be resolved, is what it is. Wow, my ramblings are strong today. My nonsensicals. Things of no matter. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we've seen enough. This thing's uh, effectively destroyed. Uh, it needs major overhaul type of work. Uh, it's going to take a while before I can get around to that. I was hoping this was going to be something easy like a leaking oil cooler. 
and that was gonna solve our issue, but we have far greater problems than engine oil cooling. So I'm gonna need to work up a solution. I've gotta get a hold of my guy, and I think he's out of town right now, so I might have to wait for a while. So that being said, I'm not gonna have uh, any kind of directions or answers uh, on this particular Volkswagen for, for quite some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this video out right now. And uh, I will do that by thanking each and every one of you for watching this video. I'm gonna break the spark plug if I keep that up. There, two hands. As I was saying, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, you know the drill. Let me know about that by tapping that like button down below that one. If you did not enjoy this video, or uh, think I'm a little off base on this one, please also feel free to let me know about that in the comment section, also down below. So again, and as always, thank you guys for watching. And most importantly, click, there we go. Do not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. End of transmission. After party, let's put all the junk back in the car because it's probably gonna sit in the parking lot for a while. I never had an air filter you had to install with a screw. Okay, let's see this thing. Just gonna shove that back in there. I wonder if this thing is gonna run with uh, the broken spark plug wires. I'm sure it will. Hope it will, because I don't want to buy wires. That's a big negative. We do not wish to buy parts for blowing up vehicles. And no, I'm not putting Blue Devil in this, no. Mechanic in a can is not, uh, not a proper fix. We're not doing that. Don't even ask. Na -na 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 -na. There we go. One more screw over here. I don't even know why I took that one out. It didn't do anything. You, I got the schmoo on me. Gross. All right, I'm really gonna go this time. See you guys later. Goodbye, Volkswagen.